All right, let's launch this drone. We're gonna try to go ahead, get it under control, get it nice and leveled. Uh, when you're flying these things, it's very important that you avoid whatever obstacles you can, obviously. Would you look at that? There's not one iguana, there's two iguanas. Look real close. Getting real territorial. We spin it around, let's see what we see. Is that another one? Oh yeah, look at that. Probably a competing alpha. Competitor right there. Look how his dewlap is flared. And he's orange. He's just checking us out. Really, really cool. All right, let's let's keep going on for. See, Dulab came out as soon as we got close. Territorial, I'm telling you. These things do not play. Look, well, there's two of them. Big one and a small one. All right, let's leave those ones alone. Wait a second. What are we? All right, let's keep going. What do what do we have here? Oh, my gosh. Now, correct me if I'm mistaken, but I think we found where the real party is going on. Look at that big, bright, beautiful orange iguana. And look at all those females that he's got. Oh, there's another one hanging out right there. Wow, look at that. Now, when I was first checking this out, I first thought there was three of them. Looking closely, it's hard to tell, but there's actually five. Um, one alpha, and there's three to four females. And then look, check this out right here. Look, another little female. Interesting, there goes the two right there. And they're just all right on top of these rocks right here. Hope you enjoyed this aerial footage of these iguanas. As you can see, each iguana, each alpha supposedly or apparently has its own rock with its own company. It just goes to show that these animals are territorial and the bigger, brighter iguana is gonna have the most females, the most chance of mating, and of course, the best real estate. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe.